Hey, what's up? I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Dell XPS 8500 desktop. There's been an explosion of computing devices on store shelves recently, everything from tablets and laptops to all-in-ones and hybrids. But there's still something to be said about the performance and the expandability of a desktop. Dell believes that it has exactly what technology enthusiasts are looking for with the XPS 8500. But just how powerful is this desktop? Let's find out. The Dell XPS 8500 that we reviewed was powered by a third generation Intel Core i7 3770 processor running at 3.4 GHz that can be boosted up to 3.9 GHz via turbo. It came with 8 GB of RAM as well as a 1 TB hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM. The desktop came with an AMD Radeon HD 7570 video card with 1 GB of graphical RAM as well as DVI and HDMI outputs and it also came with a DVI VGA adapter. Other specs included a DVD burner, Bluetooth 4.0 LE, and full Wi-Fi support. Finally, the desktop came with a 4-slot multi-card reader and 10 USB ports, 4 of which are USB 3.0. The first thing that stood out about the XPS 8500 was its performance, which was great within our tests. Whether it was photo editing, live streaming multiple videos, browsing with loads of open windows, or performing other tasks, we didn't see hitches, declines in speed, or performance issues. We even noticed that the system only took around two seconds or so to locate drivers and have a newly added device become ready for use. Clearly, performance of the desktop was solid, which we partially attributed to the Ivy Bridge processor. Intel claims it's more power efficient and provides between a 5 and a 20% boost to performance on apps and graphics. When checking out the Windows Experience Index, we found that the weakest stat was the hard drive, which came in at a 5.9 out of a 7.9. The graphics scores were both 6.9 for Windows Aero and gaming graphics, while the processor weighed in at a 7.7 and the RAM was a 7.8. Similarly, we were impressed by the fact that the machine ran quietly. We used it for hours and barely heard anything above a faint whirring of the fans. We're also pleased by the expandability of the system, which was easy to access via one thumbscrew and easily pulling off the side panel. The system comes with an empty bay for an extra optical drive, or a hard drive, and we found two free SATA ports and power supply connectors. Additionally, while the system came with 8GB of RAM, it can be expanded up to 32GB in total. It also packed three open PCI Express slots, and with its current configuration, the 460-watt power supply still has enough extra juice for potential upgrades or expansions on this machine. Additionally, the Intel Rapid Store technology app included with the system provides extra information for managing your SATA devices when you choose to reconfigure and adjust the system. Along with the ease of expansion, we like the ease of accessibility of the USB ports on the computer. There are two easy-to-access front USB 3.0 ports and two top-side USB 2.0 ports for the desktop. It also has six additional ports in the rear of the machine, two of which are USB 3.0. We also like the fact that the front-mounted USB 3.0 ports were vertically aligned, making it easier for wider USB 3.0 flash drives to be plugged in simultaneously. Another plus connected to the USB ports is the fact that the XPS 8500 supports USB charging while sleeping. While the BIOS has to be accessed to enable the feature, it's definitely nice to know that the system has the option, especially since there's frequently a device or two that needs to be charged at any point in time. We also liked that the desktop came with Bluetooth 4.0 LE, which is the latest Bluetooth standard that counts better device discovery and power efficiency amongst its list of improvements. We noticed that pairing Bluetooth devices only required an initial setup, but we never found that we had to repair these devices or manually reconnect them. Simply turning them on would be enough to establish the connection. On top of this, the inclusion of Bluetooth 4.0 manages to provide additional longevity for the desktop because it won't become outdated as quickly. While we usually aren't thrilled with the bloatware that frequently makes its way on most systems, we actually didn't mind some of the included software on the XPS 8500. We liked the inclusion of the Intel Control Center, which was a quick link to the rapid storage technology app we previously mentioned. We also like the Qualcomm SmartNet app that gave us further control over performance tuning the system, as well as controls over communication and tweaks to network traffic for the computer. It might not be something that the average user will mess around with, but it's definitely useful. Dell DataSafe local and online and digital delivery programs were included, which were decent, but the support center was actually useful with the details it provided. It packs a summary section with additional information about areas on the machine. 
It also provides easy backup and recovery options, as well as a way to download updated drivers or quickly access help for different functions. Speaking of, we noticed that backing up or recovering files on the system because of Dell's included partition and its support tool only took around 15 minutes at the most from start to finish, making it one of the fastest recoveries we've ever done. Finally, we like some of the aesthetics of both the included mouse and of the system. We like the button at the top of the mouse that let us toggle between four sensitivity settings for the peripheral. LEDs showcase the specific setting that you're on, which is important if multiple people use the machine and like changing their settings. We also like the piano black gloss on the front of the system as well as the chrome accents and the matte finish of the machine. It's attractive, yet subdued. So with everything that we liked about the 8500, we still found a few issues with the machine. For one thing, we found that the DVD tray for the computer felt very flimsy. In fact, it seemed as if we bumped or tapped the tray too hard, it would snap off. We also found ourselves significantly annoyed by the keyboard and the mouse included with this particular computer. While we liked the button sensitivity option, we hated the lack of smooth scrolling and the extremely loud scroll wheel and mouse buttons. We also found that the keyboard keys were louder than expected, and we didn't understand why we had to go into the BIOS to lock or unlock the keypad's alternate functions. Couldn't Dell find better peripherals for this high-end machine? We found the Dell XPS 8500 to be one of the strongest desktops that we've seen in quite some time. The machine handled everything that we threw at it without any problems. It comes with plenty of USB ports, including USB 3.0 on the front, top, and rear of the system, and it has lots of space for expansion as well as newer technology, like Bluetooth 4.0, to help future-proof the system. We didn't like the weak DVD tray, the mouse, or the keyboard, but overall, this is a very well-made machine, which is why we decided to give the Dell XPS 8500 a 4.5 a out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Dell XPS 8500, make sure you check out techbargains.com Dell. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, make sure you check out techbargains.com videos.